Man has been spotted slashing tires on South Salina Street and Everingham Road between the hours 11.30 and 2.30 a.m. He has been seen on surveillance footage wearing dark colored shoes, sweatpants, a hooded sweatshirt, and a backpack. Anyone with information on these happenings is asked to contact the Onondaga County Sheriff's line. The number is 315-435-3051. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Governor Andrew Cuomo wants to reimagine education with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as New York battles the coronavirus pandemic. Andrew Cuomo is facing backlash as the Gates Foundation has been found with invalid common core standards, unreliable teacher evaluations linked to test scores, and privacy violating data collection. Good morning. Today we'll have increasing clouds into some possible afternoon or evening showers and highs in the mid to upper 50s. Tomorrow will be a mostly sunny start to the day. It'll still be pretty cool temperatures for May, with a few possible rain showers towards the evening and highs in the mid to upper 50s. Friday will be chilly with some late afternoon rain or snow developing with highs in the upper 40s. Saturday will be cold with snow showers and highs in the low 40s and a lot of cold wind. Sunday, Mother's Day will be brisk and chilly with some morning lake effect snow and intervals of sun and highs in the upper 40s. Monday should warm up a little bit with some rain and highs around 50. And then Tuesday, there may be some more showers with highs in the upper 40s. I'm Allie with your weather. On Monday, the Syracuse softball team defeated Niagara, which brings their season total to 38 and a new Syracuse record. Pitcher Jenna Carrera struck out 10 batters in 5 innings with a single season strikeout record of 274. Haley Gibbs also played a great game by hitting 3 home runs and having 6 runs total. I'm Isabella Sports.